Hola, profe Laura aquí y bienvenidos a Fortnite en Español. Uh, today we are going to review las armas básicas. Las armas básicas. And this just means basic weapons. Uh, some of these things aren't exactly weapons, like, you know, the fishing pole that's for catching fish. But um, I grouped them in with some of the other items. So... Uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to go over the pronunciation for these items. And what I highly recommend is that you practice using our recent verbs and make sentences with the verbs and these items. So if you remember from the last two videos, uh, we used some really helpful verbs. We said yo necesito. So I need. Yo tengo. I have. And yo quiero, I want, okay? And these were our needs and wants verbs. So it would really be good to use these with the vocabulary. And that will help you remember the vocabulary as well as how to form these particular sentences. So uh, I will say each word twice. I'll do the pronunciation twice. If you need more time than I give here in the video, you can always pause the video or go back and listen to it again as many times as you need to. So we'll start with our first word, and that would be caña de pescar. Caña de pescar. And this is just a regular fishing pole. Remember, if you see the letter N with a squiggly line over it, uh, that just means you pronounce it like ñ, okay? It's not just a typical letter N. Um, it's the sound ñ. Uh, almost sounds like how maybe like a, a younger brother or sister might make an angry sound at you if you're fussing with each other. Ñ, ñ, ñ. Okay. So that's just a regular fishing pole. So for a better fishing pole, it is caña de pescar profesional. Caña de pescar profesional. So this is professional fishing pole, if you want to literally translate that. Uh, next we have tarro luminiscente. Tarro luminiscente. Literally, that means like, a glowing or luminescent jar. And I'm going to be honest, this is what Fortnite calls it, but I usually just say luciernagas. Luciernagas. And that just means fireflies. So you can use either one. I do not mind whichever one floats your boat. Okay. Uh, next, we have arma. Arpon, arma, arpon, so harpoon gun, super easy, grenade is granada, granada, and gas can, if you want to say the part that is can, that would be bidon de gasolina, bidon de gasolina, honestly, I usually just say gasolina, and that's quite sufficient for our purposes in this class. But if you want to know the entire technical way to say gas can, it is beyond de gasolina. Okay. So these are a few basic items right here. And we're going to just see two basic weapons um, to finish us off. So... These are two that you usually see in pretty much every game. Um, in later videos, you may see some weapons are a little dated. I do try to update the weapons list whenever I can. Um, but usually you will see pistola secundaria. Pistola secundaria. And if it's hard for you to remember those two words, you could always just say pistola. That is perfectly fine. And often we will see this as well. And it's almost the same as in English. Revolver. Revolver. Okay. So as I mentioned, I highly recommend making sentences, you know, talking to yourself or just in your mind. That's fine also. Um, so you could say, yo necesito el revolver. 
Okay. Yo tengo la gasolina. I have the gas clean or gas can. Uh, we could do yo quiero la caña de pescar. I want the fishing pole. Okay. So keep practicing those three verbs that I mentioned at the beginning. These are super important, super useful as we play. And also, please keep reviewing all of our weapons in our new weapons list for Las Armas Básicas. So that is all for today. Muchas gracias por venir. Thank you so much for coming. Nos vemos en la clase. Adios.